So Azure Private Links allows you to establish secure connections between Azure resources so traffic remains within your Azure network. And so I got this big old graphic here. Uh, and so let's just uh, define a few things. I'm gonna pull out my pen here. And so imagine you have workloads on your on-prem or you have your own virtual network on Azure. Uh, and so you have some VMs doing some stuff. And the idea is that you want to connect them to some other services over here. Uh, but the thing is, is that if you wanted to connect them, they might try to transverse the internet. So if you're on-prem, it's going out here, and it's going over here. And so the issue with this is that um, it, it's not necessarily secure. Uh, another issue could be, um, you know, it's just faster if it would just stay within the actual uh, network because if you're already connected, you, you know, you're stuffed over here, then why wouldn't it just go through uh, the actual network? Another thing is like data transfer costs. So it's always going out the internet and coming back in, and that's not a great scenario. Uh, so I'm just gonna erase all that stuff there. Uh, the idea with private link is that it's just keeping everything within the Azure network. Um, and so that's what it's doing. So if you want to, uh, you know, um, connect your workloads in your VNet or your on-prem that connects to a specific VNet, the idea is that you can launch a private link endpoint, which is a network interface, and this is what's establishing that connection. And you're gonna to have to give that private endpoint a private IP address from your VNet. And so then the idea is that on the right-hand side, that's what you wanna to connect to. There's a lot of Azure services by default works with private link. So there's no additional configuration. You'll just be able to uh, say, use private link and they will. Uh, same thing with some third party providers um, in the marketplace, uh, they might be powered by private link. And then there's a, a third case where let's say you have like a private subnet and you have some VMs there. Uh, so what you could do is um, if you have a load balancer and you need to have an internal load balancer there, well, you can uh, launch the private link service. And this is going to basically make your uh, your workload in that VNet become compatible or powered by private links. So there you go.